<laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Billy Taylor, and today I have an opportunity to perform, to listen to, and to talk with one of my very favorite artists. He's a fine pianist, he's a composer, he's a photographer, he's a painter. He's a man who does many things, and he does them all well. Mr. Les McCann. What we need to talk about is the early Les McCann and some of the stuff that you really put into the vocabulary of yeah. all the jazz musicians. Okay. Now, one, one of the things that uh, I relate to, I remember the first time I heard you, you were playing a very gospel-oriented piano. Where did that come from? Lexington, Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Not where did you come from, where did that come from? That came from, Le <laughs> well, you know, I see everything as a gift from God, you know. Uh -huh. So, I was raised in church. I was raised uh, supposedly to understand what church was. The only thing I remember as a child was that the music was always great. Yeah. So uh, I never felt like I ever got it because I wasn't a, a musician at the time as far as the church goes. But to me, that was where I went to listen to music. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I knew what I could do in the high school band with my horn, my mm -hmm. drums. Mm -hmm. But when I wanted to hear some soulful music, the church was where I went. But you did, you did some other things. You went in the Navy and you did uh, some things that uh, uh, kind of got you away from that uh, particular place. What happened after you got out of Kentucky? Well, uh, I just remember, so before I left Kentucky, one of my high school teachers, actually, yes, yeah, seventh grade at junior high school, the first day we got in the class, she said, if you ever want to be somebody, get out of Lexington. <laughs> <laughs> and that is one of the three things I learned in school. I don't well, the other two. the other two are, but uh, I, I never forgot it. So when 17 came around, I was graduating from high school, I, I wanted to go to the Navy. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to go to the Navy School of Music. I played a sousaphone, E-flat sousaphone in the band. Oh, yeah? The only one in the whole United States. But I knew how to play it. Mm -hmm. I went to take my audition in the Navy band, and they never heard of a B E flat sousaphone, four valve or something. So I couldn't go in the Navy band. I plunked that test. I said, I can't go back to Lexington, do anything to me. Send me to the Air Force. So I joined the Air Division of the Navy and got stationed in California and started going around hearing the music, meeting people all over, and it was just great. Well, let's play something together. Okay, That's please. Yeah. Right. Yes. We you were, you were uh, telling me, as a matter of fact, you were showing me a, a piece that uh, uh, you had written, uh, the thing in E-flat, that's, that's really pretty. Oh, What's boy. that called? Another Me. Another Me. All right. <laughs> well, that's because that, it, yeah. was, it was constructed around, basically around the song uh, Another You. Right. And uh, I just, I wanted it to be like a simple, we play it different in the club, we play it very slow, uh -huh. with the, the soprano player just dragging it out, we get into it and make it very dramatic and all that, but... Uh, but that, that, samba sometimes. That's, that's traditional in jazz in terms of uh, uh, using um, uh, someone's harmonic structure and saying, hey, that, that really feels good, that's something that I, I enjoy improvising on, but this is the kind of melody I want to yes. uh, superimpose on that. Yes. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, want to try? Sure. Mm -hmm. 